What's going on guys? Welcome to a new series on the channel. Um, it's outside what I normally do, uh, but I've wanted to play this game in so long, uh, which is Pokemon Uranium. Um, I've, had, I've been watching this series on, a, on another channel, um, and they said that you couldn't find this game anywhere anymore, but I managed to find a copy. Um, I think it's only the Pokemon Uranium website which Pokemon actually took it down from. Um, and this, for, for those of you who haven't heard of it, I'll be very surprised if you haven't. Um, but it's uh, it's a fan-made game um, with completely new Pokemon brought into it from, from the creator. Um, I was going to do the opening scene, but I figured a lot of you guys have already seen it. So I'm just going to start from this screen. Um, I'm not going to Nuzlocke it, because um, this is the first time I've ever played through it. And I actually want to see what the new Pokemon look like. So, And I could do that just by catching the first Pokemon on the route, but I may want to give something else a go if I come across it. I don't want to be limited like that. So we'll class it as a playthrough. Um, we'll jump into it. My name is Bambo. Uh, but if you find that hard to pronounce, you can just call me the Pokemon Professor. I'm not going to do any voices, guys, because I'm absolutely rubbish. I'm in the UK. Our accents here are terrible, um, and you probably want me to put on a voice, but, um, but I'm not going to. You're the kid who's applying for a job, right? Great! Want the lowdown on what you'll be doing? Nah, not really. I just want to jump into it. I want to explore. Ooh, who's this guy? That's super cute. Um, can't say I know comparison of what it looks like, but it's super cute. We humans share this world with creatures known as Pokemon. More than mere animals, Pokemon possess astonishing powers and remarkable intelligence. People and Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some Pokemon are kept as pets, others help us with work, and still others are used in battle by trainers such as yourself. How do you know I'm a trainer? You haven't given me a Pokemon yet. What if I just want to chill at home, playing Pokemon on my DS? But there's still so much we still don't know about Pokemon. That's my job. I study Pokemon for a living. Specifically, I'm an expert on Pokemon elements. Every Pokemon has an elemental type, and each type has its own strengths and weaknesses. But, why do they exist? Are there new types we haven't discovered yet? <clears throat> Son of Moon. Ah, but I'll tell you more at your first day on the job. Report to my lab tomorrow to get your first Pokemon. Now, if you just fill out this form here. Who are you? Hmm. Well, there's only one male by the looks of it, so I'm going to be you. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'd like to know your name. Please tell me. Right. My name is Zeus. No, my name's not Zeus. Why? Why is there no keyboard? Oh, you actually use your keyboard. That is so strange to me. I'm so used to using a Pokemon keyboard. Enter. My name is Sean. Yes, my name is Sean. Sean, are you ready? Your journey, your story is about to unfold. The future is a blank slate. You, together with your Pokemon, are going to fill it. There'll be challenges and thrills, and you're bound to make exciting discoveries. Let's go! So, there won't be... Ooh, 10 years ago. Sean's family lived in Beale Beach City. Um, just to let you know, um, first episode, I'm not going to put any kind of face cam on, as you've, as you've obviously seen. Um, but following on uh, in the episodes, I probably will introduce face cam. Um, I just don't want to, I don't know what the layout or anything is of this, um, I haven't, I've watched certain videos um, uh, in terms of introducing but introducing this, the series but I didn't want to, um, yeah I'm not going to go into it. John's family lived in Beale Beach City, the largest city in Tandor, so we're in the Tandor region. Oh who's this little guy? Their father, Kellen, was a brave and talented Pokemon Ranger. Hmm. Who's this? Their mother, Lucille, was a brilliant scientist, 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 and an expert on nuclear energy. So you're gonna blow up the planet. Although they both worked demanding jobs, oh, they always found time to spend at home with young Sean. I'm not young. I'm getting old now. As my girlfriend says, I'm nearly thirty. The Tandor region was at peace. And Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. The future seemed bright until 
Ooh, drum roll. It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where Lucille worked. As part of a routine inspection, they brought in a specialist to take a look at the electrical system. There's a Y and an M. How hard can it be? It's a 50-50. Cameron, have you finished your diagnostics? Yes, I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. This generator you designed really does its job well, Lucille. Excellent. I kind of, I want to differentiate the voices. I really do want to differentiate the voices because then you'll, you'll know who they are. But, um, but you can see where the arrow is pointing. If everybody has finished their work, we'll break for lunch. Uh, boss, you might want to take a look at this. There's a Y and an N and I don't know which one. Strange, the temperature readings are far higher than normal. Either we need to reset the thermometer or the reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat. That went into American then. It can't be the thermometer. I just checked that. So, oh, screen shaking. I told you she was going to blow up the planet. There must be a breach in the reactor. At this temperature, in just a few minutes, we'll have a total meltdown. I knew it! Typical woman. Everyone needs to evacuate now! And there they go. And Lucille! You have to leave too! Go, Lucille! Dot, dot, dot. Ellipsis. Down the stairs? Where are you going, you crazy woman? She must know something where there's a perhaps a maybe button. With Cameron's help, all of the scientists were able to un escape unscathed. Except Lucille. It's because you went downstairs, crazy woman. She was never seen again after that day. The radiation leaking from the broken reactor made the surrounding area uninhabitable for many years, foiling any attempt to try and search for her. The loss of his wife had a profound effect on Kellen. His personality changed. He became cold and dedicated to his job. In time, he got promoted to Chief of the Tandor Pokemon Rangers. However, he became too busy to care for his child. One of those. So young Sean was sent to live with their elderly auntie. Auntie? Auntie? Elderly and auntie. I just, there's just a flow with that. Elderly auntie in Moki? Moki? Moki town. I'm going to call it Moki. Ten years passed. Now we're here, so so I was 12 at the time. Auntie's health waned. Supporting a child was too much work for her. Fortunately, Ernest Bambo, the local... Bam, Bam, I'm going to call him Bambo. There's a, there's a, the local Pokemon professor was looking for a research assistant. Two kids from Moki Town applied. Sean and their childhood friend, Theo. That's quite strange, actually. I did have a childhood friend called Theo. Theo, if you, if you ever watch my videos... Hi. It was common for youths of a certain age to receive a Pokemon and travel the region as a Pokemon trainer. And so, Sean's journey began. It's like my, my intro into competitive Pokemon is exactly what it felt like. Sean, come downstairs. You are late. Oh, oh, I get to move now. Hmm. All right, the computer. Sean booted up the PC. What do you want to do? Items, mm, withdraw item. There's got to be a potion in here. There's always a potion. Close the storage. Okay. Is X up? Uh, turn off. Turn off the PC. Anything else in here? Nothing else interesting. Well, it's, it's a cool photo. It's a map of West Tandor. Oh, we got a map. What we got? We got Notox City. We got Kev Kevlar Town. Sounds interesting. Passive Cave. It's over here. We got Brawl Town. We got Amatry Town. Rochvale Town. That's nothing. We got Beale Beach City. Nothing as well. We got Vinaval Town, Legan Fire Valley. Oh, I can't wait to go there. Championship site. That's where we want to get to, guys. Let's go down. Let's meet Auntie. I forgot her name already. We'll just call her Auntie. I don't know if I've mentioned her name. For some reason, it's not moving. Yeah, we're back. Sean, sweetie, today's your big day, isn't it? Yes. I can't help but feel glum. See my little one all grown up and leaving home. Oh, if only these old bones could do more so that I could support us both. But we both know that you're ready for this. You and that boy Theo. Always following in your footsteps, that one. Yeah, he always used to copy me, actually. This is, this is our real life. You've always been so capable. But I wonder about him. He is younger, after all. 
I'm sure his father Cameron wouldn't allow him to go unless he was sure. Anyway, to celebrate your big day, I got you a present. Go ahead and open it. Sean obtained the running shoes. I like running shoes. To run, hold Z. You can toggle auto running the menu. Snivel. Oh, oh, to come over. <laughs> oh, don't mind me, sweetie. I'm just an emotional old lady. If only your father were here right now. Well, I'm sure he's proud of you too. I'm going into different accents. And I'm positive you'll run into him during your adventure. Now, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Say hi to that nice professor man for me. Will you? Yeah, why not? And if you don't mind stopping by again after you get your first Pokemon, which I can't wait for, I'd love to see it. Okay, good luck, sweetie. Okay, so how do you get into the menu on this thing? X. Where are the options? You are in battle scene. So where? Maybe. If you go into your bag and go to running shoes. No? We got nothing? Okay. I don't fancy holding Z or why we run so crazy fall. Ooh, this looks nice. It's a very dark place. Um I th I think I know this, but he lives in quite a large house. Ooh, who's this guy? What do you gotta say? You look angry. Most of the Pokemon species found in Tandra are native to this region. But there are some which can be found in other regions too. Like Mankey? And Dunsparce. Cool. Thanks for letting me know. Zed, run. Hey, wait up. Okay, someone's coming to get me, so obviously I'm going out of the town. Whoa! I'm crazy here. Where do you think you're going, huh? You trying to get to the lab before me so you can't get better Pokemon? Well, that ain't going to happen. Because I'm going to get the strongest one first. Try to keep up, Sean. Whoa, so it is this way. Rah! Okay, so he just walked completely past this building. I'm going to take a wild guess and say this is a Pokemon's lab. Yes, because he's speeding ahead. And my friend is next to me. Bambo. Hey, if it isn't Sean. Uh-huh, your friend. Tommy, was it? Honestly, Pops, can't you even remember my name? It's Theo. Theo! Right, right, Theo. You're just in time. Today is a very special day for both of you. It's your first day at work as field research assistants at Bamboo Pokemon Research Labs. Your job will have you travelling across Tandor, observing and capturing many different kinds of Pokemon to help you with my research on Pokemon elements. I have three Pokemon here that will aid you on your journey. Before you get your starters though, I missed that bit because I pressed the button too quick, both will take the Pokemon Trainer Aptitude Test. So I know about this bit, you don't actually choose a starter, you create, you take in essence sort of a personality test to um, to find out which Pokemon's best for you, but you'll you'll kind of see that you can kind of fix it towards you what you want. And I'm not going to. I am just going to go with what I think is the right answer for me. I didn't study for any test. I thought you were going to give us a rare, powerful Pokemon. He is. Well, it's going to turn into one hopefully. Now, now, don't worry. It's not the kind of test you have to study for. It's just a way to determine what kind of Pokemon trainer you will be. Different starter Pokemon are better suited for different battling styles. A starter Pokemon will be your lifelong partner. Maybe. Unless I want to release him. Which I won't because I want to see what his third evolution is. Or her. So it's important for you to work well together. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Enough talking. I want to get my Pokemon. Sheesh, kid. You're not very patient, are you? Alright. If you want to know more about what's going on the test before we begin, you can talk to my aide. Aide? Aide? Aide. Now. Sure. Are you ready to take the trainer aptitude test? Yes! Excellent! So without further ado, when you encounter a new kind of Pokemon in the wild, what is your first reaction? Depends if I want it. If I really want it. No, actually no. I might run away if it's something like a Weedle. But if it's something that I'm going to class it as something if I really want something, then I'll attack it and weaken it. Very good. Both of you. Come on, that was easy. Give me a tougher one. Okay, next question then. Which of these TMs would you prefer to teach your Pokemon? I'm not going to teach it Hyper Beam for one. This keeps messing up on me for some strange reason. Um, hidden Power depends which Hidden Power is and if it's especially offensive. Protect? Um, what? I mean, what would I want to teach you Protect really? Unless it was doubles, which it really had some use or um, 
if you add leftovers. I'm going to go with hidden power because there's a lot of different hidden powers and it's it's viable competitively. So why not? Hey, professor, what's a TM anyway? Um, I'll tell you later. Let's move on with the next question, shall we? Which of the following Pokemon will win an all-out battle? Okay. So Garido, Garidos is water flying, which Gliscor can't touch. So obviously Gliscor can't win. Ampharos, Electric Dragon, can beat Gyarados all the time, but it can't beat Gliscor. Hmm. Ampharos, he's got a Dragon typing, which is probably one of the best typing in the game. I don't know if I'm reading too much into this. Gliscor has ground and flying. Typically, I mean EQ. So I'm going into competitive mode. I'm going to go with Ampharos. Why not? Is it possible to fail this test? No, it isn't. Now, this is your final question. So answer it honestly. What is your motivation for becoming a Pokemon trainer? Becoming the very best. Exploring the region or making new friends? I, in this case, I am actually exploring the region. But I want to be the very best so that's what I'm gonna be no question about it you got it right I'm gonna be a Pokemon no not you me I'm gonna be a Pokemon master and nobody's gonna stand in my way ha 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 that was a very blunt ha 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 I dig your spirit kid well that's it for the trainer aptitude test now it's time to analyze your results Ooh, ellipsis okay I finished my analysis. See, I, I picked. I picked actually. You saw the colours, where it's green, blue, and red. Those are obviously. If you went red straight through, then you probably get the fire type. But I picked. I, I picked my honest answers, but um, I picked. I, I saw myself picking a lot of different ones. So I'm actually really kind of interested to see what I'll get. Oh, oh wow, that cat thing on the left looks amazing. The other two, hmm, not, the one on the right looks like a baby Suicune from the from the dark and that. Um, looks weird. Looks like a Rattata head on a Charmander with a Charmander tail and a Velociraptor body. Sean, oh, I need to click the button. You seem to be a trainer who won't hesitate to go for what he wants. For what? For what you want? I'm wondering then. Where's the S? Plural. You prefer to overwhelm your opponents with sheer force and firepower. The saying, "The best defense is a good offense," is probably your mantra. I did draft Chansey and Mega Sableye in one league, guys, I'm not going to lie, so that may be true. You have a burning spirit within you that never ceases. For an offensive trainer like you who also likes defense. Whoa! We got the Rattata thing, dragon with Charmander tail. Raptorch is your best pick. That looks awesome. Now I've actually seen it. That's amazing. Go ahead and take it, Sean. So I think I'll look at its stats and then I'll end the episode. Um, I'd just like to see what... Give it... No, I'm not going to nickname it. I like the idea of keeping the name so I remember them. Hey, I'm tired of waiting. Go on, get the grass one, get the grass one. Sean got their starter already. When do I get mine? I'm done analysing your results, Theo. Hmm. Ooh, Theo's results. Is he going to get the Suicune or is he going to get the grass kitty? Or whatever it is. Theo. Well, you certainly know what you want out of life. You're impulsive, impatient, really, and care mostly about your own desires. But I sense something else in you. Could it be the seed of greatness? The potential to transform yourself completely? Whoa! Is that some kind of link to the later story? The potential to transform yourself completely? It's like Ash Greninja all over, all over again. Or maybe it's just that you're so young. I can't tell. Regardless, for a trainer like you, or Chinks, I'm kind of glad I didn't get that actually. I'm really not. That was the one I was most probably excited to get, and I'm really happy that I didn't. But we'll we'll see final evolutions. Yes, my first Pokemon. And um, we're gonna battle, aren't we? Yeah, we're gonna battle. Sean, you have a Pokemon, and now I have a Pokemon too. You know what this means, right? Fine. No one's gonna get that. Oh, please. Not in the lab. Get out of here. It's our first Pokemon battle. Of course we're going to do it in the lab. Sean versus Theo. Rival with Theo would like to battle. Right. Sends out his Orchinks and I send out my Rap Torch. Have I literally just got Scratch? Oh, wow. This looks insane. Fight. Scratch, Growl. I do have Ember. Come on. One shot. One shot. I am faster. 
That means he's more defensive. Woo! Don't mess with me. Mess with me, young Theo. Come on. We didn't even get a level. What? But but I was supposed to win. Well, then you should have done the test to get the water type. Sean got 350 Pokemon dollars for winning. But, but, how? I'm supposed to be the best trainer ever. Oh, I am. We already know that. That's impossible. Good trainers never lose. I, I, I'm going to do it this time. <laughs> Please don't cry, Theo. <laughs> Here, I'll heal Pokemon for you. Thank you. Your Pokemon were healed. I wanted to be an unbeatable trainer. How come I couldn't win? I really, really wanted to win. Well, between your starter and Sean's, this has the type advantage. Water beats fire, fire beats grass, and grass beats water. That's the elemental type triangle. Well, one of them, at any rate. Yeah, the other ones are a little bit more confusing than that. Learning to master type matchups is an important part of being a trainer. But no way! I want to do all of them. How come Sean gets the best, st better starter? Why it isn't fair? I, I'm going home. Good. See you, orange head freak. <sighs> he took that harder than I hoped. Well, you gotta learn when you're young. But you shouldn't be so quick to judge him. He is just a kid after all. I expect he'll soon discover that training Pokemon isn't as easy as he imagined. I'm going out to the entrance to Route 01. Route 1. Oh, 01? One. 1! One. By the edge of town. Bring Thea. And I'll teach you both how to catch Pokemon. See you later, Sean. Right. Can we get into the menu? Can I actually check out my Pokemon now? Wrap Torch. Level 5. 20 HP. Fire Ground. Fire Ground. Oh, we got a camera up. We got a camera up. We got a. Who's a legendary? What's a legendary? From Ruby. Groudon. Groudon. We got a little Groudon. Trainer Sean. Okay. He's a careful nature. Careful is... I don't... can't remember. Is that plus special defense, minus special attack. Let's hope you're not a specially offensive monster. Because that won't be um, a good sturdy body. What's your... Where's your nature? Flame body. Oh, wow. This Pokemon and me are going to get along so well. Scratch Growl Ember. And that's it. Cool. I like him. Right, guys. Uh, I think we're going to leave it there, actually. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed the first episode of uh, Pokemon Uranium. Um, the second episode will be up shortly, um, in which I'll have a think in the meantime, perhaps about Facecam. I've, I've quite enjoyed not having it and being a little bit more relaxed in that essence. And I think it's nice having a full screen um, game for you guys to watch. Um, so yeah, drop a like if you if you did if you if you're kind of hyped for the series, um, and subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, there's more videos on the channel, competitively competitive videos, um, i.e. looking at Pokemon and seeing how good they are, and also my battles. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.